Hello and welcome to another Curator's Chat here at Beringer Crawford Museum. I'm Jason French, Curator of Collections here. Today I thought I would bring out something pretty special. It's an artifact that I've known that we've had, but because of how fragile it is, I had never taken an opportunity to look at it yet. I knew it needed restored. This is a silk banner from a GAR um, post. And the GAR is the Grand Army of the Republic. This is the James Garfield post number two in Covington, Kentucky. And this post was established in March of 1882. And I, I wanted to see it because I knew it needed restoration and I just thought that I needed to see it um, so that I would have an understanding of the level of restoration down uh, the road that we could potentially do for this. Because it does, have, it, items of silk, when they get older, they tend to have silk rot and they fall apart just from age. So I wanted to see this and I was also thinking about, you know, the Grand Army of the Republic and veterans organizations. Uh, the GAR was the Civil War Veterans Organization. It was the organization that banded together veterans from the Civil War and helped them um, deal with veterans issues in the late 19th century. In the 20th century, we had the American Legion and, um, you know, vet, uh, the VFW, the Veterans of Foreign Wars. Um, but in the 19th century in America, we had the Grand Army of the Republic. And this is telling that story. And out of these veterans also, uh, this generation of people that were part of the GAR and the post-Civil War um, America are also the ones that first started celebrating and remembering Memorial Day. So as we were getting closer to Memorial Day, I, I just thought it would be really interesting to see this. I also, because I, I wanted to think about other Civil War related items when I was looking at this, I did pull out to share with you this Yachtigan bayonet. Um, it's a sword bayonet uh, that, this is actually earlier than the Civil War. It's from the 1840s, and it's French in manufacture, um, and would have originally been used for artillery men to have because they had shorter muskets, uh, so they would have had a long uh, sword blade on it for if they actually had to defend themselves with a bayonet. Um, it's a very interesting piece, and it's a piece that actually is fairly, uh, the Yachtigan style, the curve in the blade, was fairly common in Civil War for sword bayonets like this. Um, you see it uh, on Zouave rifles and, and other uh, rifles throughout the Civil War. So I brought that out um, because I, I thought it was interesting and I wanted to share it with you. But the real reason that I wanted to talk to you today was about this. GAR banner and because I wanted to see it myself. So thank you for sharing that moment with me because I needed to look at this banner and you gave me a reason to uh, to get the guts together to look at it because um, I was afraid it was actually, I was afraid it was more fragile than it is and I'm glad to see it in as good a condition as it is now. And I hope that someday that you are able to come and visit us here at Behringer Crawford Museum and come and uh, Share moments looking at artifacts here uh, with me or with others. Hope you're having a, a good day, and we'll talk again soon.